Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and we're just going to jump right in your Cancer and see what's going on with you today, okay? This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. So of course it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot, okay? And um, what else here? I do offer same-day personal readings for $35. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. We'll start with the tarot and then we'll close out with an oracle. Okay, an oracle message for you. Okay, Cancer, so right away I just will say that you are going through a lot and this reading might be more painful of just information that's going to be relayed to you of what you're going through because it does end pretty powerfully painful, okay? Um, so you're obviously going through some things here. Uh, yeah, and it's very shocking for you at the end, okay? Because... Uh, it starts out, so life is making a lot of changes here for you. I'm going to say in an ideal way. There is a lot going on and happening. Um, and I'm going to say maybe at first, like, I feel like maybe good things happen. Like you felt like something ideal was going on. Um, you're getting what you wanted. Uh, something cool, you know, I'm going to say was happening here for you in some way, shape or form. And then, and I feel like too, you know, because of these positive changes and cycles happening, it actually made you want to be more equal with others and share and give and just figure out your own finances and see what you could do, but have it be a thing where it's like everyone helps out, you help out and pitch in, right? Everyone does. That actually inspired you and motivated you maybe to want to go relay a message to someone else, to go contact someone, communicate, or move really quickly and feel really motivated and inspired to do something and take action. But unfortunately, I don't know what happened after that. You experienced extreme pain and heartbreak. So I don't know if it just was sudden instant breakup. You had your own healing, uh, you know, trauma. Things were coming out. I don't know. A lot of pain happening here and endings. And honestly, the last two cards here, you know, with the ending of this reading, it, it leaves, you know, you leave this reading like really like almost like in shock, but in pain as well unfortunately here so i'm going to clarify and see what's going on and what this is about okay so for some of you, I think maybe it's you wanted to you want to be with someone in a relationship. It could be a friendship. Maybe it could be business stuff, um, marriage. Maybe you're with someone right now. It's something about a relationship in itself. It could be a whole marriage and relationship outside of you. That's what's causing changes to happen in life right now for you and your life. So either or, whether it's your own marriage or relationship or friend or whatever this is, a connection of some sort. Okay. Yeah, and so there's a lot of painful, depressing things happening here with you in life right now, that that's what was causing you to actually want to start to be fair and neutral and equal and maybe giving versus always taking. Um, because I do get the sense that because you're going through it, maybe you're wanting money or needing help, um, but you're trying to find a way to have it work through everyone. Maybe it's even what's depressing and painful for you and dwelling and causing a lot of a negative emotions within you. It could be the fact that you want things to be equal with people, you know, either or.
yeah I'm gonna say for some of you there is someone here that you still love you're in love with or you care about or you like um, it could be you yourself you feel this way but if it's about a person that's who you want to rush to really quickly to talk to and say something to and, and motivate yourself or feel inspired or, or take action at least towards them Others of you, there's something here within yourself that does still make you feel good to want to still, um, you know, plan, take action, move really quickly, relay a message, expect or hope for good news to come through or some sort of a message. All right, hang tight, Cancer. Yeah, that's, I had a feeling. Well, Cancer, yeah. I mean, you're going to go cold and get upset and something, you're not getting your way, Cancer. You're not getting your way. Now you're very upset. Now you want to go cold. You might want to be strategic. You might want to be manipulative. You're confused. You're thinking about a lot of negative things. And that actually is what's causing the heartbreak and pain for you in such a painful way that I'm so sorry. I hope you can find a way to feel okay because it's really painful and deep. Or it's a strong person. It's someone around that's really causing so much pain for you. Either or. And um, yeah, so, okay. So uh, you still thought, well, I'm gonna get my way. And unfortunately, cancer, life just ripped everything out of you from underneath you. Yeah. So you were still trying to get what you wanted and it's it didn't work. It's not working. Unfortunately, um, something happened and something is happening. So, all right, let's see what your closing out Oracle message is, okay? Right, impartiality. Impartiality, Bahana Beige. This is not a time to personally shine, but to allow others to come forth with their gifts. You may find yourself in the role of neutral advisor. Hold the space for others to find their own answers. Advice may not be well received. Be unbiased now. All right, I quietly listen, allowing you to color your own palette. The legend, Bahana is the wise dictator from the town of Beige. She is known for settling disputes fairly. One day, two neighbors are arguing about what color to paint their fence. Bahana gives each of them a can of paint and instructs them to paint their side of the fence the color that the other neighbor wants. She knows that when they can color their world in the love of their neighbor's eyes, they will understand and accept one another. Take an impartial look at your situation. The action here is to listen and observe. If I step back from my present situation, what do I see? Can I be neutral? Neutral position, allowing things to unfold, standing in another's shoes, uplifted communication. Guide, open-minded, fairness. And that's what I have for you. Thank you, bye.